Well, hello, hello, and welcome. I'm AJ O'Neill. I'm one of the software engineers that's been working on the Dash Trust Protector election 2022. And what I want to show you is how to audit the votes. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to take a look at my example.env file here. Well, I guess first, let me take one short step back where you can get the software here is vote tally is on it's github.com slash dash hive slash vote hyphen tally so you can clone this get it on your system if you don't know how to do that well you kind of gotta get a developer involved i guess but uh you can you can run git clone to get this on your system i've already got it here and uh this is clean i've got some test fixtures in place so for candidates, masternode list and votes, and this is just to demonstrate some very simple stuff. But uh, if you if you just run index.js, then what you're going to see is results. It, it'll tell you if it, I have, for testing purposes, I have a bunch of uh, duplicate votes and whatnot. So for testing purposes. Um, you're going to see these warnings come out, but with the real votes, you shouldn't see these warnings because they should be ignored. Anyway, and we see the results. This is how many votes there was from how many voting keys and for whom. So that's that's it's that simple. You just run you just run the code. Now, if you in order to get those files, the candidates.json, etc. Um, I have what you would need right here. This is the testing one. Let's go ahead and put the real one in here too. So it'd be vote.trust.org. Now, right now, this isn't going to work because you can't see, no, candidates will, but you can't see the votes until the voting ends. So let me just go ahead and change a few of these. Uh, votes will become publicly available when the voting ends. Um, and then this one is, ah, oh yeah. So with one, we were doing test net, the other one, we were doing it live. So let me just show you, I'm going to grab the real candidate list right now. It's publicly available. So here we can look at, whoops, here's the actual candidate list. There you go. That's it. So I just copied and paste that command. From here, this is the real one. This is the testing one. Same thing. We're not going to be able to get votes right now. And then we change in this environment file, we change where the path is. So I've got it set in the example file. I've got it set to uh, everything prefixed with fixtures. And I think that's how I have it in the real file too. And we also have the dash network main net or test net, uh, what the voting prefix is, what the voting start and end dates are. Um, so we've got all that information in there and this is this is how you get the masternode list from the network this is how you get the list of votes this is how you get list candidates so you need those three files and then it's going to compare them together and it's going to sort and it's going to tally the votes so that's what you get when you do this so i'm not going to do a code walkthrough or anything uh, you need to have node installed you can get that web install.dev slash node um, I don't think you need anything else installed other than that. And I think we've got some instructions on the readme here. So install, we should probably just put the npm install. I think I'll also change it. So if you do npm run start, that's the more conventional way to, to do this. Um, rather than node index.js, but that works anyway. Uh, point being, yeah, that's, that's how we tally votes. So that's all I got for you. Adios.